An Arima wholesale proprietor was shot and killed at his business place on Sunday afternoon. Luke Dalipsing was accosted by armed men at Luke's Wholesalers, located as at Kesnell Street, Arima, at around 1 p.m. Police reports state that Dalip Singh was shot several times before his attackers escaped in a waiting vehicle. He died at the scene. And a Venezuelan woman identified as 23-year-old Malin Carino has been shot and killed. TTT News understands that she was among four people shot in Kirap on Sunday morning. She is the only one to succumb to her injuries. The incident took place shortly after 4 a.m. on Sunday. The three other victims have been identified as 23-year-old Penago Hussein, 22-year-old Maria Hussein, and 18-year-old Edison Ramirez. Reports are that the four walking along Evan Street, Kirap, around 4.23 a.m., when they were reportedly approached by three men who began shooting at them. Residents alerted the police who arrived to find all four bleeding on the roadway. They were all rushed to the Eric Williams Medical Sciences Complex, where Carino was pronounced dead. Eight persons, including two minors, were arrested, while two firearms and quantities of ammunition and narcotics were seized by officers of the Southern Division during coordinated anti-crime exercises yesterday. According to a release from the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, officers of the Southern Division Task Force and K-9 Branch conducted an exercise between 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. on Saturday, July 16th, in the Tableland, Princess Town and Gasparillo districts. During the exercise, a 50-year-old man of New Grant was charged for possession of one pistol containing one, 16 rounds of ammunition. A 22-year-old man of Williamsville for possession of a quantity of marijuana and 15 marijuana plants. A 45-year-old man of Peparo for possession of apparatus and a 25-year-old 20, and, and a 54-year-old, both also of Peparo, for possession of cocaine. In a separate exercise, officers arrested three male occupants of a vehicle after the car was searched and a pistol was found. All persons arrested over the weekend are expected to be charged accordingly and will appear in court on Monday.